You got everything? Yep. All right, what a guy, what a guy. They still gotta go down back. They got that whole field. This has been grazed and it's coming back. So to stay in control before this gets mature, what are you thinking? We better be not mow, mow it. it. And then it'll be ready by the time it's time for them to come back in here. At this time of year, grass is growing faster than we can graze it. So it's the only way you can keep up with it if you wait to come back all the way to here. This will be grown up. It'll be mature. It'll be like this. It won't be as it won't be as palatable. This is like almost perfect. We could skip and come back to where we started, but we want to spread nutrients over the entire field. What if we, in the summer and spring, we only did one half of the field and the other half was for cows? That's not a bad idea. It's not terrible. Okay boys, we got all this volunteer garlic. Let's harvest it and then cure it. Now that's a nice score of garlic, especially since we didn't plant it. All that we did when we harvested is dropped bulbs and those came up. That could have totally been done on purpose. Harvest some, pinch some off and replant them while you're in there, while you're digging. But this is a pasture. This used to be a garden, so we're gonna let it go back to pasture. Here's where our curing rack is. It's amazing. Every year we have more and more infrastructure. That's one less thing we have to build. Just how you think we can lift it over these sandbags? Yeah. All right, I think it's worth a try. Yes. It's making it. You guys are gonna have to lift your hands up higher. Yay. That's relatively painless. Now unload our garlic. One head here, one head there. Next step, Jenna, our water line is leaking at the source. That's a female to female. You wanna try another female to female? Different one and see if that works? Okay. For this to work good out there in the field, it needs to always be on. Cause we just need to be out there in the field and just turn it on. I think I figured out my problem. We are missing a washer and I put a new washer in and it's, it's too big in diameter. So I don't think it's sitting down enough. So I'm hoping, we have two of these things. I'm hoping between them both, we have two black washers. One black washer and this one. This one must have miss, been missing them both. Two red washers, yeah, look. It's all kinked up in there. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, that's not gonna, it's not gonna stop water. I've got it. I got two black washers. I think it's gonna work. They're fitting in there snug. The moment of truth. No leaks. None. I guess not all washers are created equal. Jonah, do you know where that is? Yeah. It's called a inline strainer handle. He says he knows where it is. Let me get some shoes. It's one of those tools you don't use for 10 years. Ah, oh, the fence stall, that makes sense. I look in the tool cabinet. Oh, I see it. I see it, bro. Right there. There you go. Good job, man. This, although you don't use it very much, when you do, it's a very valuable tool. Randolph is here installing gates. It's so handy having a gate right there to get into these pastures where the sea monsters, where the ducks are gonna be and the geese later on this year. So we're having him install a couple more fences along the way. Look what I found, Randolph. Did you find it? I found it. I've never seen a gadget like that. Yeah, look at that. See that? Catches that. Oh yeah, it's on a tie already. Yeah. You think that'll guide us? Oh my. Yeah. That's that's much stronger already. Feel the feel that. Yeah? Good morning, beautiful one. Good morning. What are you up to? I'm gonna I'm cleaning out my bug bowl. Put a little water in it, put, put bugs in it. And then I need some of your... Need some soap water? Soap water.
How'd it go? It was quite successful. No, those are a bunch of ladybugs, aren't they? No, those are the Asian oh. beetles that eat the leaves. You don't want to be tricked. No. They're orange. They're the the bad boys. Red, the good girls. Yes. Right, I well. thought they weren't bad, but then oh, Mama. I looked it up. There's one right here. Can you just pick it? Is it a squash bug? No, no it's, it's one of those Asian beetles. Will they eat the Asian ones? I don't know if they will, and Let's I see. I'm wondering though if we should let them die first. All right, just in case they what don't. What I do them. is I put the um, the lid on, and then you, and then I just leave it out here in the sun to heat it Gosh, all up. Savage. Well, and then I just come back. Just and show them. <laughs> well, I was hoping that word would get around to the other bugs. Yeah, they don't have so. news channels, babe. Spread the news, guys. She's setting them out as an example. Bacon time. We've got all our supplies up. We are ready to freeze this bacon. You ready to freeze this Rebe bacon, Rebecca? Yes. We've got our uh, Excalibur. What is that? Vacuum seal. We've got our bacon. Oh boy, Teddy. It's going to need to be tied up. So first, what do we do? We just cut it into slices? Oh, I was just gonna cut it into chunks. Oh. And then we'll slice it when we eat it. How, so if we'll get it out, uh, we'll got fro is that how you do it then? Okay. That's, well, you can do that. Well, that's gonna be super easy. Cause I was easy. maybe gonna buy a bacon slicer. I wanna buy another thing though. Yeah. Uh, Cause then it's nice and thin. Yes. Cause it's right. kind of thick when you slice it. It's too thick. No, come on. We, we we worked hard to raise this. We can get us one more thing. <laughs> it does feel like that though a lot. Well, this is gonna be super easy if we're just cutting it into what? One pound? One no. pound-ish? That's, that's fat. I know, I was looking at I that. I thought that I was, was like, mold. Wait a minute. But that's fat. So that's a scale. What are you gonna do? I'm trying to. You're gonna figure out what a pound of bacon is? Yeah, I wanna kinda see what it looks like. Okay, so that's 72 ounces. That's how much I want to do. Ooh, poundage, darling. Four pounds, eight. Four and a half pounds. Four and a half pounds. So then we'll slice four that chunks. into four chunks. All right. Teddy's tied up. He would totally wolf down our bacon. Yeah, okay, so I'd do it in half and then in half. Like this in half? No, like this. Woo! I was going to do this because it's so tough. So I'm not going to watch you. Okay. I'll let you. Yeah, yeah. Once you get to the skin, we state the skin. So do you peel the skin off before we'll, you we'll cook? We'll peel the skin off before we cook it. It'd be easier to have a bacon slicer right now, right? Before you freeze it? Yeah, we just... But we don't have one. No. Because right. I've looked at them and it's overwhelming. And uh... Oh, gosh. All right. So we'll have to unfreeze it. And then bacon slices we go. Is a bacon slicer a big deal? Well, maybe we should cut it right now. Well, then it's too thick. All right. So this is our choices. We don't have a bacon slicer. We did it. We did it. We did it. I feel like we should put our hands up. That was quite the process. I kind of put it up at the top, kind of uh, loosely so that it could freeze nice. Freeze nice. And then we can stack it tight. Okay. Rebecca's getting water for the sea monsters this afternoon. How do you like that, Rebecca? How do you like our water right so there? Nice. So nice. Freeze this up to maybe do a better job with the cleaning of the the gallon waters, huh? Yeah. The five gallon, seven, that's seven gallon water. Anyway, let's move these turkeys, guys. Let's start moving them every day. And I vote, let's start, let's, let's get them eventually behind the luchadors. So we move the luchadors morning and afternoon. We could come move the luchadors in the afternoon and then just move the turkeys just while we're out there. 
So, how do we get them from there to there? One day at a time. Let's just go that way, then we'll get across, and then eventually we'll be over there behind them. That's where the sheep are. They're gonna go right here. You think this is enough for them? Yeah. And the steers. And what's that? Is this wild? Something. Let's say wild spinach. It, it almost looked like that. Oh, it's some sort of thorn. Okay, let's do it. And just like that, we have sheep in there. And what's so beautiful is the cows were so over this. And I don't think, I, I've seen these guys, they're so happy. And look, they're, they're on where, where pigs just planted grass this year. They're having a heyday. Beautiful. <laughs> 